Do you ever watch trick shot videos and think to yourself, I wish I could do that? Well, here's some great looking trick shots, so simple that even your mum could do them. Okay, I'm going to show you how to play all of these great shots in one fairly fluid, flowing motion, so they all look great. Now, shot one is all about spin. So we've got our spin ball out here. Now, if you notice, give it a spin, you can see what it does. Now, if you look at where we are looking at the, on the table, that's the black end down here. So we're looking up the table towards the bulk end, and that will have a big influence on how the balls react. So if we play it with right or yeah, right hand side from where I'm looking here, the ball will move in this sort of a motion. But if I play it the other way up, up the table, with that same sort of spin, with left hand sided to push it in towards the cushion, it actually does have the opposite effect and it comes away from the cushion. So we don't want it to do that, we want it to hug the cushion. So if I get to the right bit, I'm gonna hit it right on the right hand side, I'll show you here where it says right. So line the tip up on the ball where it says right here and that will make it hug the rail. So we're hugging the cushion all the way up and unfortunately we missed it. But that's the shot we're about to play. So what we're gonna do is we're not even gonna hit it, we're gonna throw it. So we're gonna just push it along the cushion, forcing the ball in that sort of a motion and that'll make it hug the cushion all the way along and into the pocket like that. Now for the shot, we're gonna use a yellow. So here we go, sh straight up the cushion with a load of spin, straight in. And once we put it together with the rest of the stuff, that'll look great. Now shot two is a shot where we're gonna pop the green and the brown at the same time. Now there's one or two key things we've done here. Firstly, we've placed the green underneath the triangle, triangle. put the triangle on the cushions, put the brown on top of some chalk so it's resting. It's, the chalk is just to the pocket side so it's a bit easier for it to drop in the pocket and the green very very crucially is more inside the triangle. Now when we're playing this shot for the sake of the end shot we are going to need to play the ball with backspin. So we're going to play the ball with backspin, we're going to hit it right at the bottom and we're going to need to screw it back a little way on this shot. And look at that, the green and the brown go in. Now shot three is dead easy, but you've got to line it up really well. So this is how you do it. We've got three cues in the pocket and we're resting the blue on the end. Now if you notice the two cues close together line up dead for the middle pocket and there's a little gap at the back there. So when, as soon as the blue moves, it's gonna run down the cues and go in the middle. Now we've left a little gap in between, so it drops off nicely, and the cues are exactly together at the end so it doesn't flick one way or the other. Now, as you can see, we've just gotta line it up perfectly here. Make sure we've got some nice amount of room to put for the white to go up in a second. Now we're gonna need some chalk. And the reason we're gonna need some chalk here is because the blue can rock back and go down the wrong set of cues and obviously it won't go in the pocket. So if we put this chalk in the gap here, we just need a little tiny bit more room, then it can't rock back and it has to go down those set of cues. You see, because if it goes down the wrong one, it'll go nowhere near where we want it to go. So that's critical to keep it online and that'll make sure that goes in that middle pocket. So all we've got to do is play up the cues at the right weight. See it's going to come back here, it's going to come all the way back nice and slowly, it's going to drop off the cues both at the same time perfectly and in the middle pocket. Okay that leads us on to shot four. Now this one uses a cue as well, we've got the pink down the end there over one pocket and the black over the other one. And we're gonna pop both of those in the same shot. Now, 
notice here that the pink's right up to the cushion over the pocket not quite touching the cushion and we've got the cue here and the black again near the cushion at the end not quite touching the cushion this gives it the biggest chance of going in possible so it means you really can't miss this so what we're going to do is play it with top spin and in this case a little bit of top left hand side so if we come down here i'll show you that so the easiest way you know if um I'll show you, I'm not going to hit it in the middle, I'm going to hit it over there on the left because if I hit it in the middle it wouldn't go as far over. So we're going to play it with top left hand side in a second and that's going to make the white jump across off the side cushion, hit the cue and it's just going to run along it. We've got to play it quite hard but look at that, just hugs it, knocks the black in. And that's all the four shots. So this is the final shot where we're going to put everything together and do all of them at once. So we roll the yellow down the cushion. We're going to screw the green back across the table. The brown goes in. Now this I'm slightly annoyed about. It takes too long for the blue to go down the cues here. But we roll up to the top. This is going to drop down. Look at this. The blue taking forever. Get on with it. Just waiting forever here. Now we're going to slap that pink. Can't be bothered to wait anymore. And of course, there we have it. Now, please give this a go, guys. Let me know what you think about it. And if you want to try some harder trick shots, click the link here or hit subscribe to find out what else we're doing on this channel. Thanks, everybody. See you later.